The class uh, offered in the junior year uh, is taught by a number of great faculty, and for the past couple years, uh, Celia Lothink has been uh, teaching the class. And Celia is going to uh, spend a minute or two giving you an orientation to what she tries to accomplish in the class and uh, some of the real kind of unique characteristics of it. Thank you, Dean. My pleasure. Good morning, everyone. I'm so pleased to have been asked to be here with you to speak about Bar 211. By way of just a couple of sentences of introduction, though, I feel a need to share with you that while I preserve well, I sat in your seat, students, 35 years ago. I'm a product of the University of Hartford Education. And parents, my parents sat next to me 35 years ago thinking about, is this the right education for me? And I'll tell you, it was, it's been a brilliant career as a result of, I think, having been so well prepared in my education. I became a partner at IBM. I was an executive vice president in the insurance industry. I retired out of that and rewired into entrepreneurship. and the awesome opportunity to come back here, full circle, to the University of Hartford and teach Bar 211. So I'm so thrilled to tell you about it. As Dean said, it really is an opportunity after the first level course to get to um, work with the students on informational interviewing and building a resume and networking and this whole concept now of personal branding. And all, by the way, done through many of the, even the social media um, networking aspects of being prepared for the work world. So that's an aspect of Bar 211, that the students come together in small breakout sessions to work on those types of things. And then on Fridays, the students come in for a speaker session. So we'll advance to this next slide to give you a few examples of the kinds of speakers we've had attend the Bar 211 and a couple that are coming up this semester, just so you get a feel for the, the really the caliber of speakers that the students are um, given the opportunity to interact with. Like I can tell you, I'm a little bit of a tough professor in the way that I don't see this as just come in and sit and you know listen, but to really interact with our speakers, to get a chance to engage questioning with them about their careers, what were their successes? How did a university of education, a university of education, help them be successful in their careers? And then after the class is over, to thank them for coming and ask for their business card for future networking opportunities. I really believe that at that level, bar 211, it really needs to become an experience of career readiness, not just a class. So we bring to them folks like Dave, Dave Shop. He's an honorary regent here at the university, just a fabulous, fabulous person who spent his entire career building um, uh, insurance industry entrepreneurship. So he spoke to the students and they, they loved him. I mean, he actually, I'll quickly tell you, he put up on the board 2.1 and he said to the students, what do you think that means? And they kind of knew, but they were afraid to tell him. It was his GPA in his fall, freshman year, <laughs> first semester. And they asked him to leave the Barney School. And he did, he left for a year and his boss told him in that year, you will go back and you will finish your education. And he did, and believe me, it wasn't a 2.1 when he finished. So he was just a great speaker. Brian Berger came to us from California Closets, you know, the closet organizers who I could use probably. But what was so cool about him was that, again, he was a Barney School graduate, and um, he Skyped with his son in the class. His son was on internship in London. So what a great opportunity for the kids to get that um, experience of the father-son and I wanted to just share with you after he spoke a student in the class approached him and they ended up um, striking an internship <coughs> agreement uh, for her to work at California closets in Boston in the summer for a marketing internship so again these become extended experiences into career readiness it's just great and Jessica Cushing came to us young. She was just a recent graduate of the university. Works at Ticket Network. Anybody know what that is? You guys like Stump Up and all those things. They loved her. Why she was young, talked about a work environment where they bring their dogs and they play ping pong and they have Halloween parties. So can you imagine the cards that she handed out that day that uh, students hoping to follow for internships with her. 
um, it's a local uh, it's a local online marketing company. Uh, Jeff Klotz came to visit us from Wall Street. He's a wealth and financial advisor, um, has his daughter who attends the university, and um, again, an internship formed out of that um, experience where a student shadowed him at work on Wall Street. Still came to stop by my office this semester to tell me how much he had appreciated that experience. And then coming up, we have Patrick Kenny coming in. He's an executive vice president of Travelers. Um, and he'll be speaking with the students about, you know, just some, actually, I understand there may be some tough love lessons he wants to share with the students. So, you know, they really get that reality check. And it's just such a fabulous way for them to learn about what to expect in their careers. And finally, I just wanted to share an example of, again, twin uh, gentlemen from uh, Boston, recent graduates, probably two or three years out, and they started a company together in digital marketing. They're coming back and giving back to the future <coughs> students of the Barney School. So these are just terrific examples. I'm happy to answer any questions you have after the session, but I believe that, again, as Jean said, these are foundations of, of career readiness that I think are differentiators. Um, to, what I would tell you any other school that you're looking at. So again, happy to answer any questions afterwards. Thank you very much, Sylvia. I appreciate it.